I'm Sylvia. I work in the conservation department here at the Australian Museum. When it comes to deep oceans, I've actually been involved in a lot of the preparation for the specimens to the exhibition worthy. And the process has been a long and drawn out one and it involves transferring all our specimens from an ethanol enclosure which is sort of a traditional way to keep the specimens to a, to a glycerol. We wanted to, to get away from using ethanol in our exhibitions. So uh, glycerol is a pretty good solution. It's found in a lot of everyday applications in food. You can find it in um, fat-free foods as a plumper or as a sweetener. And we're actually using it to store all our specimens for the exhibition. It's a long process, so we have our original specimens in the ethanol. We can't plump them straight into the exhibition glycerol solution. We have to actually do a, a sort of a transfer from um, ethanol to a 33% solution, and then to a 50%, and then finally to a 65% glycerol and deionized water solution. And that's what we'll be showing for the exhibition. So um, this is uh, probably the most popular specimen um, in the exhibition. He's quite famous. He's actually a relation of the very well-known Mr. Blobby. He is a blobfish, but he's well-known for having quite a human-like face, slightly disgusting gelatinous skin. He's an incredible specimen and I think he'll be very popular in the exhibition.